Do you hit the snooze button a lot? Over the last few years, I've gotten into a really bad habit of hitting the snooze button. I'm always so angry with myself saying, oh my gosh, I'm so lazy, I have no motivation. And I've noticed that since I've started this journey with my I'm Almost 60 community, I've been hitting the snooze button a lot less. And yesterday I had to wake up early and I didn't hit the snooze button at all. And I thought, oh my goodness, I'm so proud of myself. Wow, I must be really motivated these days. But then I looked into the science. Hitting the snooze button has become part of many people's waking ritual. A 2023 study done in the Journal of Sleep Research showed that hitting the snooze button for up to 30 minutes doesn't interfere with your sleep architecture as much as we thought it did. In fact, it showed that for some people, hitting the snooze button is helpful. Some people hit the snooze button because they're just managing extreme fatigue and exhaustion, not because they're lazy or unmotivated. Other people suffer from sleep inertia. When their alarm wakes them up from a deep sleep, they hit the snooze button, wake up a few minutes later when their sleep is at a lighter stage and they feel much more refreshed. And even cortisol can play a role. Many people know cortisol as the stress hormone. Cortisol levels start to go up in the morning. Cortisol helps you wake up. This boost in your cortisol promotes alertness, energy, and feeling ready for the day. But if your alarm wakes you up from a deep sleep, that cortisol level doesn't feel effective. But if you wake up from a lighter sleep, like after you hit the snooze button, that rising cortisol level better aligns with your waking up pattern. So maybe I shouldn't be patting myself on the back for not hitting the snooze button. We should talk about sleep and being almost 60, right? I'm Dr. O, your regenerative medicine doctor. And on this Sunday Reflections, when you snooze, you don't necessarily lose.